Good morning. Um, today I've actually decided to do a day in the life of eating. Now I eat intuitively, I don't count calories. I know some of you would like to know the calories. So I will um, figure out the calories and put it on a little bit on the screen. Um, now I had a massive, massive dinner last night. I had like six flav meals and some brownie and all vegan obviously. Um, so I'm not really feeling hungry right now, so I'm actually just gonna brew myself a nice cup of coffee, go to the gym, we do a little bit of a light workout as well, I'm feeling a bit tired, <sighs> big day yesterday, big day for big boy. Um, but yeah, it is quite cold as you can see, I'm all rugged up. Oh mamacita, oh mamacita. I'm gonna go enjoy my brew, 10.03. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh my god, I ate, I can't eat now. I genuinely eat intuitively. I don't believe in calories, period. Um, calories are completely redundant. You may disagree with me. That is a-okay. I am not right. I am not wrong. It is merely my opinion. And that's what I love about humanity. We all have opinions. We all have growth through each other's opinions. Never reject anyone's opinion. Always listen. Um, I listen to everyone's opinion about calories. And yes, scientifically, there are purposes to it. I understand that it works. It is, it is a tool and it is a proven mechanism for weight loss, muscle building, um, physical performance. However, I do believe in, uh, I guess the, the term that you'd say would be nutrient counting. Um, and I do believe in nutrient counting and I believe it is far more efficient in the uh, absorption of minerals and nutrients in that food. It is more effective and efficient in delivering those essential, uh, those essential minerals, amino acids, uh, nutrients uh, like magnesium, iron, etc., uh, to the body, um, and I think the organs which constantly need these minerals for uh, proper and effective use of your body don't really get it from processed junk. So when you do your calorie counting, and if it fits your macros. Plain and simply, forget if it fits your macros. That is dumb. Like, don't just go consume McDonald's and, and donuts all the time. Which I know, like, you don't do that, but don't go go think that's a, a valid way of living because those foods, you're probably only absorbing. I will look up some more research articles because I know that there are very limited ones on this uh, predicament. But you absorb very little of that food and a lot of it is just excreted in waste because it's not registered as food, it's registered as chemical. Um, whereas if you were eating a bowl of pure electric um, salads, your body would absorb in excess of 90% of that food. Obviously excluding the insoluble fiber and a few other components of that food. Yeah, so again, um, nutrients over calories. Period. I would suggest that I would probably eat in excess of maybe, maybe if I am looking at calories, which I don't, but I know a lot of you people do, and I, I, I really do like want to make this um, accessible to all. And, and, and if you do count calories, I want to make this something that you would look at and go, okay, well, that's really cool, and, and maybe learn something from it. I don't want to discredit anything that anyone does, and I don't want to discredit for, uh, discredit you from watching this purely because I don't believe in calories. Um, I want to make it accessible and fun for all and something where I can learn and you can learn because I learn just as much from making these and from reading comments as, as you would. Um, so yeah, maybe 4,000 a day I would roughly estimate. Um, there are days for sure where I'd eat six, seven, eight, nine thousand calories a day. If I'm doing like a run that's 37 kilometers, um, I, I definitely fuel myself. Um, but yeah. Stay tuned and I'll get back, oh, my arm's getting sore from holding this. I'll get back from the gym and start my day. What is good? I just got home from the gym. Um, unfortunately, I had no idea that the gym actually closed early now because of the COVID <laughs> Because of the COVID restrictions. See, it's even hard for me to say purely because it's um, just so damn annoying. Um, anyway. Do you like my outfit? Alright, first meal of the day is going to be 11 medjool dates. I love medjool dates, um, they're so, so, so nutritious for you. Eating them on an empty stomach is actually super, super beneficial. Um, they contain so many minerals, 
so many antioxidants, and they're very, very, very good for gut health and digestion. Um, especially after the gym, they're just so, so good because they're so packed full of really nutritious energy that you're gonna extract so much vital nutrients from. Um, along that line, water. This is my second bottle. Um, but I'm also gonna make after the dates. Um, actually, I'll weigh the dates for you just so you can see how much I'm having. All right, here we have the scales and here's a dirty pan. Um, we've got 210 grams of dates. Now, I'll eat them all, I'll show you there's 11 in there, so I guess I'll show you 11 pits. Um, mm, mamacita. Mm, mamacita. I love that. They are literally like nature's candy. Actually, you can kind of see, so. Date number one. If I can figure out how to time lapse this, I'm just gonna leave this on. Just time lapse it. Blood purification and iron. Extreme amounts, okay? So, they're actually a really good snack after the gym. As you can see, all but one, because one's in my mouth. Calorie count. Next thing I'm gonna be making is a, a banana smoothie bowl. Okay, so I use a scoop and serving size of clean vegan protein. By far the best um, vegan protein to cook with. Not only that, but it's the best tasting vegan protein and it's also gluten free. Um, and essentially, People that uh, use this, that have upset tummies, they do not have upset tummies anymore. Ditch the way I can't s express that more highly. I might do a video on how bad whey protein is for you, in my opinion. But get this into you. Also, I hate that I had to buy these, but I didn't have any frozen bananas. Um, I'll be adding the whole bag of this. So 500 grams of frozen banana. Um, a scoop of this, which is 45 grams. Then I also top it with a bunch of these from More Life, organic goji berries. Really, 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 really yummy and good for you. And they taste amazing on smoothie bowls because they go hard and crunchy and let's be real, texture is everything. Um, so yeah, I'm also going to chuck in some blueberries. I'll go get that. I'll start making it. Okay, we're on zero. Bananas go in. Oh, we're on 510. They gave me extra. Ooh, we're on 520. They gave me extra. As you can see, 45 grams of clean vegan protein. Now, I'm never one to weigh my food. I'm purely doing this for the calorie count for people that don't believe me or they really want to know so I can work it out later and put it here. Now, I'm putting blueberries in. Let's go with, yeah, that's a nice even number, 250 grams. Damn, son. Damn. Now, I don't know about you, but I love, I love my smoothie bowls like I used to like thick shakes. Like this. Thick. Those wondering, it's over a kilo in this smoothie bowl. It's pretty big. Like I said, it's nice and thick. Nice and thick. Let's just go with 50 grams for now. Alrighty, so I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. You can see how big the actual bowl is. It is massive. But like I said, we don't count calories, we count nutrients. So yeah, I'm gonna time up this, I'm sure, if I can. And, um, yeah, in, enjoy your food. Don't, don't fear sugar from fruit. Be sugar that's been processed in a refinery that's 
packed into another product, that's packed into packaging, that's put on a shelf for you to buy. Nutrients of calories. But the calories for this bowl here and the current total here. Woo! I love eating um, my things with little spoons. It's just so much more fun. You know, the little things count. But this is a smoothie bowl, it is winter. I'm gonna get cold in a second. So I'm gonna chuck my jumper on. Um, Breakfast are done. Calorie count there. Um, and in the next few clips, I'll probably just discuss why I eat like this. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just keep it to a day in the life of eating. Who knows? The world's, the world's everyone's oyster. It's a very moist day out there today. Like very rainy. I'm back. I woke up, so got out of the shower, and I was like, you know what, I'm still a little bit peckish. So, again, like I said, intuitively eating. Um, this is the Flav Mad Mexican Breakfast Wrap. Now, this is a little different to what I would normally eat in a day, but I have them in the fridge, and if there is one thing about Alex is he hates food waste. He will eat everything and anything. He will eat half a moldy banana purely because he doesn't want the banana to go to waste. So, Again, calories. Oh, baby. Mmm. So cold today, I'm freezing. And if I tell you the truth, there's another one in the oven. So, total calories consumed today after this one, total calories after the one in the oven. Um. Yeah, um, so I'll eat all my food, I'll time lapse it, maybe after everything, and just run you through a few things about my eating regime, my habit, not a regime, just my in intuition with eating, um, and why I eat, and how I eat, and how eating can increase your physical performance, sexual performance, mental performance, um, your ability to go to the toilet properly, whole range of things. So yeah, I'll time lapse this, and then talk later. I literally was too hungry to realize that I hadn't filmed, so 
This is the second one. I put it in the oven. Um, it's just really, really nice. It crisps it up a little bit. So yeah, after this, which I'll time lapse now, total calories right there. All right, I gotta go charge this hush puppy of a camera. And I'll see you when I eat, eat again. Alrighty, um, now because I'm a hungry boy, um, I just went and did some work uh, on my computer. I had a few emails to reply to. Uh, I had to write a few blog posts, do a bit of research. Um, organize my podcast for tomorrow uh, with a super amazing guest. Charles is one. The other, I'll leave a mystery, just so I'm not giving too much away. Um, but I'm a hungry boy. Like I said, I eat intuitively. I eat a lot. Um, today is a very different day um, for a normal day in the life of me. Again, like I said, I have all these flav meals. want to get through them. And plus, they're so divine. Like, I can't stop eating them. Uh, I'm having the Jamaican jerk now. All right, see that? Um, it's their Jamaican jerk stew with ginger sweet potato, coconut gratin, mango and black bean salsa, Jamaican greens, steamed cavolo, nero spinach jerk sauce. Um, and we're gonna eat this one cold, just because I've had it cold before and it's gnarly. All these meals are 100% natural, um, and by natural I mean they're not containing junk preservatives, junk emulsifiers, super refined ingredients and chemical laden E numbers and uh, weird citric acids which aren't actually citrus. Yeah, they're just super wholesome. So although I'm eating a lot of these packeted foods today, like if, if it fits your macros earlier, don't go out and eat like a Big Mac and donuts and whatever and whatever and whatever. Don't do that. Um, this is still, even though it's in a packet, this is as close as you can still get to whole food homemade cooking. Calories for this is here. And then when I'm done, my total calories for the day will be. Some days I could eat 3,000 calories. Some days I could eat 5,000 calories. Some days I could eat 9,000 calories. Some days I could eat maybe, maybe it's a really little day. Maybe it's like 2,500 calories. Like, I don't know. It'd be very rare that I actually eat below two, below 3,000 calories a day, really. Maybe below 2,500 would be quite rare. But nonetheless, like, like I said, it's it's not like a set like this, 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 and this, and this. Um, so yeah, enough of me chatting. Mmm, look at that. There you go. Um, okay. Like I was saying, food is chemistry. <clears throat> food is talking to your DNA. Food controls your psychological and physiological well-being. Um, it dictates your sleep, your skin, your uh, bags under your eyes, the clarity of the whites in your eyes. Um, your ability to expel energy, your ability to put on muscle, like everything and just all I can say is no matter how much you eat, eat the whole food, your body will tell you when you're full. Your body will regulate how it wants to eat, when it wants to eat, how much it wants to eat, how little it wants to eat. That's that done. I really want to have one of their brownies. Whenever I film these, I just get like an urge, I'm like oh I just I want to show you guys like all these things. Uh, I'm not actually going to make dinner tonight. Well, I mean, like I'm going to make a dinner, but I'm not going to cook because I have all these um, meals and I, I I don't want to like, waste anything. Um, but also, I do love like trying all their new their new meals and and they're, they're super just beautiful and amazing and uh, amazing. Anyway, um, I'm thinking either I want to show you like a really a simple little like 
wheat bix concoction that you can make. Like, I want to show you things on these. Like, I don't just want to be like, oh, I made this, slap it together, boom. And, and, and it'd be like basic. I will do some like normal, normal, like, but my days are always very different. But I want to show you this, this wheat bix concoction. Super easy, super easy. And my pancakes. Okie dokie, I'm gonna make this wheat bix concoction just because I feel like showing you something random. Um, super easy. I'm gonna grab one. I'm gonna grab two, three, four, five. Usually I do eight to twelve, but I'm actually eating this pretty much directly after that last clip that I made, purely because I want to film this while the light's still up because it looks a lot better than when it's down. Um, alrighty. Then, you put a scoop of this. Yeah, clean vegan protein. I'll get the scales out just so you can see that I ain't lying to y'all. That's 20. Actually, we're gonna go with 30 grams. Then we put freezing cold water on it. Kind of like that. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna get a little spoon. And it literally just tastes like chocolate cereal. Um, this is actually a lot wetter than it usually is, so I'm gonna get one more wheat bix and put it on there. Um, this is what we got looking like. And the keep stirring, oh yeah, there you go. Absorbs up a little bit more. And it's like this delicious. Mmm. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I usually add peanut butter on it, but I just realized I have no, like, wet peanut butter. It's all kind of dried up. And it doesn't mix in well. Calories for this, there. Total calories for the day, here. That was really, really hopeful that I'd be able to edit something into that, so. But, I'm gonna finish this, probably have a scoop of that. I'm not really gonna include this in the calories, because... Actually, yeah, well. If the camera dies, I apologize. But, as you can see, I'm pretty much done. Big mouthfuls. Mmm, mamacita. Mmm. Hey, bar. So yeah, I'm just gonna cruise, hang out, uh, see what's good. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna maybe have uh, one of the Flav brownies. But thank you for watching. Um, I really hope this, I don't know, just opened your eyes a little bit um, into the realities of not calorie counting. Um, although, calories are there for the whole day. Plus the brownies, because let's be real. Um, Yes. But yeah, I just wanted to say, don't count calories, count nutrients. Uh, everything I ate today was uh, overall less nutrient dense than what I am used to eating. Um, so I will do more of these like a day in the life of eating uh, of me having actual food that I make the whole day. Um, and I say that because well, I, I've got this here. It's convenient, it's accessible, it's healthy, um, and it's really f like fun and nice to try like new uh, vegan things out there because spreading the word vegan um, and spreading the vegan lifestyle, um, spreading vegan food to people that aren't aware that it exists and, and showing how easy it is, showing how delicious it is, is really important to me. So, um, although that's like not what I used to use, how I ate today is not how I would usually eat every day. I kind of just wanted to like showcase that stuff anyway. Um, I think it's really important just to 
express that there are there are alternatives out there and, and if and if you're not eating those alternatives um, and you're still eating uh, murdered animals well then you've got to reconsider um, <laughs> your arguments for not going vegan when people say oh it's too hard or whatever it's not too hard anymore um, also given the fact that we're in lockdown and stuff well we're, we're not in New South Wales but now's a better time than ever like you have so much time you can do all this research um, anyway, they're just, they're just minor thoughts, but yeah, nutrients over calories, I can't reiterate it more. Um, super, super crucial, super, super important. Like I mentioned, I was going to have the flave, and here we go. Oh, mamacita. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I could describe what these taste like, a sweet potato brownies, they're just... Mmm. Now, I'm gonna enjoy these. And, um, okay, what's good? So, in a rash decision, I know I said this was a day of not me eating that much, but I've now made myself a vegan Milo. Okay, calories will appear on the screen. And now, and, So breakfast food is like my ultimate food, okay? Like, ultimate. Anyway, obviously when something is fresh, without preservatives, something got a certain amount of lifespan, and my freezer's full, and I've got a few of these meals to get through. So I was like, you know what? It's only about 8.30. I could try and go to sleep, or watch something, or, or eat some more breakfast food. I'm going to dig in calories for the wrap here and total calories for the day right here. I'm expecting it to be a lot. I have no idea what it is right now, but it actually is probably a lot considering how little I have done. Anyway, days of excitement call for days of indulgence. You know, it's all about the moderation of indulgence, the ebbs and flows of life. It's like you've got to just ride those flows and be in a state of fluidity as if you were water being transferred into different vessels. Take the shape of those vessels, be malleable, and enjoy each vessel for what it stands for. But I'm not gonna time up to myself enjoying this because I'm just gonna enjoy it and maybe watch some uh, naturopathic YouTube videos because uh, I'm very much into my herbal tinctures uh, and herbal teas, etc. So yeah, adios, catch you on the flip side. Thank you so much for watching and I'ma see you later.